So today I'm going to be describing how to make figurines like these using Make Human Character Creator and Blender. First I'm going to make a general body and focus on age and height, and then I'm going to save my figure before I continue. There's not a lot you can do with face and clothes, but they do have this suit which will make it easier to make a schoolboy uniform later. There aren't a lot of hairstyles, but we work with what we have. Here I'm selecting the rig. The general rig will let me pose it later. I'm going to make some adjustments to the face. It doesn't allow for a lot of customization, but anything you do here is going to make it easier when we get to sculpting in Blender. I'm going to export an MHX2 format and an STL so I can check the scale. The scale I'm using is the meter scale. You'll see that the figure doesn't load in Cura well, but the scale is right so we can proceed. I'm going to download the MHX2 importer. I'll import the zip file and then check and see that it's in the plugins and it is and on the right side you click the arrow to bring up the tools and the MHX importer to select your file. Now we've got our file along with the rig and I'm going to start posing. It's important to have a very clear idea of what you want it to look like. If you start messing with the pose without having a real world example to look off of it's very likely it's going to look uncanny or unnatural. I have a few reference photos that I use as well as the figurine that's in the show that I'm using as inspiration. So I'm trying to get his arm posture right. And a nice little lean. It's nice because this default modeling rig offers a lot of points of articulation. So we've already made our basic character figure. Now we're working on the pose in Blender. And we're gonna go from here into sculpting. Because I wanna add shorts instead of these long pants, I'm actually going to export a figure with the suit and a figure without the suit. Then I'll cut off the legs below the pant line and merge the two figures so that the shorts transition into bare legs. I don't need to pose the upper body because the lower bodies overlap and that's all that I need. You can see what it looks like when I select various parts and here I'm removing redundant things like the feet from the uh, suited model. I was surprised to find that poses actually transfer with the MHX file. So if you want, you can choose some of their default poses, which are a great place to start and then adjust. I'm giving him a floating appearance. Go to the edit mode and select the edges and then I select mesh, clean up, and close holes to make it a closed body. I'll do that for the pant legs as well. If you click on an object and then L, they'll select the whole object and then delete will delete all the points. Well, this is while you're in edit mode. So now we can see what it looks like when I have the two overlapping. I'm making little adjustments to the uh, pose so that they line up. The hair is currently an open body, but make it a closed body by selecting two points and hitting F repeatedly. However, when I try and sculpt it, you can see it gets distorted. There is a way to fix this. I won't go through all the details, but all this crazy distortion is actually normal. There's a link below. Now I've remeshed it in its new rest pose, and you can see that I can sculpt it the way that I want. I'm giving him a curly hair, so this scale, I think I can just make, uh, use the um, 
the sculpt tool to just add some loops and curls and things, which after I smooth them out, will have an impression that I think is, looks appropriate for his curly, boy, cute guy in a boy band look. You can see when we use the M key and switch the view into wireframe that it has a lot more points now. Now I'm sculpting the mask, and I'm just starting with a sphere and using the symmetry tool, or not the symmetry tool, using the symmetry setting, I'm going to pull it and push it and create something kind of like futuristic glasses. This is surprisingly easy, especially if you just think of it the way you would with your actual hands. And it takes a little bit of trial and error, but the nice thing is you can always undo. It's a fun thing to play around with, and you'd be surprised at what you can learn to do in pretty short time. So the more you play with it, the more comfortable you'll be creating things that deviate further from Make Human. I want the head to be a separate print, so I'm shortening the neck so that it's straight, then grabbing the edge and extruding it out. Now we're going to use a Boolean subtraction to make a flat end to it, and then I'm going to use this to make a Boolean subtraction from the torso so that it has a little hole in the, in the neck of the torso where I'll glue in the head after printing. I place it where I want, then under tools select Boolean, difference, and select the object that I want to remove from the torso. And boom, now you can see there's a little edge there. I'm gonna do the same thing with a hole in the foot I later needed to drill this out a little bit, but that's fine. The hole's there, and that makes it easy to post it on a stake. After this, I do a bunch of Boolean operations to slice it into different pieces. I make each arm a duplicate, and then I will do a Boolean subtraction and a Boolean intersection so that the I have the body without the arms and the arms without the body. This is a great trick for I found for printing complex parts, which otherwise I would have a difficult time printing, even with the best supports. And here we have it. The model is now in separate pieces, which are not too hard to take apart and print on your bed. After that, all you need to do is glue it together and paint it.